In our last two sessions, we discussed a letter written by a woman who is mystified by the behavior of her boyfriend, Tom. At the Renaissance Fair they attended together, he enjoyed giving her a rose, but only minutes later, he became quite displeased when she gave him the same gift. Without meaning to, she paid for his unconditional gift and changed it into a trade, thereby ruining it. So, what can be done now? Back to the writer of the letter. Now that you realize what you've done, you can do wonderful things with this. With great knowledge comes great power. People are fond, for example, of saying, you can't change the past. What's done is done. But that's not true. With sufficient knowledge, you can reach back and heal the past in such a way that you can literally change it to a large extent. You now realize that you ruined Tom's gift of real love. You didn't mean to. You didn't even know what you were doing at the time. But now you do. And now you're going to do something about it. Right now. So, find him. Tell him you have something important to discuss. But not in that tone where he thinks he's going to hear about some mistake he has made. You know that tone? Then, before you get together with him, go through some magazines until you find some pictures of two individual flowers, preferably roses, to represent the roses you exchanged the other day. I'm assuming from your comment of the other day that the actual roses that you described have probably hit the trash by now. If not, I suppose you could do this next little exercise with the actual roses, but I'm going to assume here that we're going to do this with the pictures. So, you hold up the prettier of the two pictures and you say something like this. The other day, you gave me a rose at the Renaissance Fair and I really enjoyed it. But I wasn't mature enough to just be grateful and accept your gift. Somehow, just receiving a gift without giving anything at all back was unfamiliar enough that I had to do something in return. So, I got a rose for you. And at this point, you pick up the other picture. Now, part of me did this for you, but a big part of me did it so I would feel more comfortable. It was a mistake on my part. It made your gift less. I distracted from the thoughtfulness and creativity that went into your gift. And I was wrong. And I want to correct that mistake now. Then you crumple up the second picture and you toss it in the corner of the room or in a trash can as you continue speaking while you're holding the first picture. And you say, thank you for this rose. This was very thoughtful of you to do. And I'll be thinking of you all day as I look at it. Then you share with him some intimate act that indicates to him your gratitude. Now by intimate, I just mean sensitive and caring, like a touch of the hand, a, an intimate gaze, a gentle kiss, whatever is brief and sincere. Now I say brief because if you do too much, you'll be paying him back again with gratitude and you'll have ruined it again, just in another way. As you do this, You'll allow him to recreate that moment of real love. And you'll allow yourself to feel it, rather than merely trading imitation love with him. Moments like this are pretty great. Enjoy them.